So as I promised you last time, today I am going to present you uh, some of the work which we did in last 2-3 months on COVID-19 using uh, our uh, iterated function systems. So I think this is going to be very very interesting stuff and uh, we present here that how driven IFS can be used to analyze uh, different viruses DNA or RNA whatever as, as the case may be and we also towards the end of this talk we will also try to suggest some of the, some of the treatment methodology for treating uh, COVID-19. So let us uh, begin and see uh, this, this paper work was presented uh, in a US conference uh, where which was it, it was a special session on COVID-19 this was a HIV conference uh, on 10th of July this year so this work was presented there and uh, the work was uh, uh, the, the seen by a lot of people and uh, this conference was attended by none other than Anthony Fauci and uh, Bill Gates and a lot of big names. So we presented our work there online, of course. And then uh, let's see what uh, it is. We categorized 31 different pathogens on the basis of their proximity to the COVID-19 virus. We use a novel method called chaos game representation and modify this to carry out the phylogenetic comparison. The CGR images can be obtained by playing a chaotic game on a square. The vertices of the square correspond to adenine, cytosine, guanine, and thymine. We may begin anywhere in the square uh, and move halfway towards a vertex depending on the letter occurrence in the genomic sequence. We repeat this for each letter symbol in the sequence as they appear in the genome. This produces a fractal image of the genomic sequences of a pathogen. The location of the points in the square are called the addresses of a particular order. If the uh, sequence is random, then we will get a scattered plot. Otherwise, for a non-random order of C, A, T and G, it will produce a fractal image. For each point in the plots, which we call a PC plots, which are percentage chaos game plots, will represent the occurrence density of a particular K-mer nucleotide in the genome sequence. For example, first two plots here uh, are the percentage CGR plots of coronavirus and HIV. A difference between these two is the subtraction plot. The red dots represent the extra addresses occupied by the coronavirus and the blue dots represent the extra addresses occupied by the HIV. We also quantified this difference by summing all the uh, red dots or the blue dots. This is uh, basically a distance of different viruses from SARS-CoV-2 and we name it as proximity index from coronavirus and this is the number for HIV which is so 25.63 is the proximate index for HIV which is obtained through the SP plots. Here we compare five different pathogens PC plots, which is the percentage chaos game plots. The visual inspection itself shows remarkable dissimilarities from SARS coronavirus 2. We will further quantify these through SP plots in the next slide, but we can see the level of dissimilarities from different groups. Like infectious bronchitis is quite close to SARS CoV 2, whereas tuberculosis is very, very far. It's, a, it's, it, it's almost opposite. Whereas HIV and the Ebola are, Ebola is also a, a little close, but HIV is a little bit farther. Now we'll see the uh, plots. These subtraction plots are obtained from the reference plot of coronavirus and all these four other viruses. There is an un unambiguous increasing dissimilarity you see here. Uh, as, as the proximity index, which is given in parentheses, it increases, the dissimilarity level is also increasing. So the proximity index increases with the level of dissimilarity. You see that in tuberculosis, there is a lot of dissimilarity and almost the proximity index value is almost 50. Now, this is the summary of our work and the final result. Based on the value range of the proximity index, we categorize the pathogen in four different groups. 
The group A is the closest to the COVID-19 virus where the PR value is less than 10 and group D is the farthest from coronavirus where the proximity index is more than 30. Unfortunately for group A, there are no drugs available for these particular viruses which are close to coronavirus, they are, which are close to COVID-2 uh, virus, uh, there are no drugs available. Now group B drugs may have some chances of success like remdesivir for Ebola which has been which people are trying maybe it, it can have some chance. Similarly from group C we saw that HIV drugs have also been tried uh, in India uh, and it has shown moderate success but uh, we have all seen that hydrochloroquine uh, and uh, the BCG uh, vaccine did not have much success in containing the coronavirus. It seems that proximity index does give you a direction which we want to travel for finding a, a proper drug for the coronavirus. So that is what it was and you just saw what uh, this work was. Uh, if you feel you can, in fact this is a very uh, unique work what we did uh, during the lockdown we were at home. So, uh, and uh, if you would like, you can share it with your friends also. So, this lecture can be shared uh, and see what people think about it. Thank you.